I can't write the story until I find that out. The Golden Age of Television presents Howard Duff starring in Small Bouquet with Miko Taka after these messages. That's him, all right. Rory Morgan, the one and only. This place a little run down, isn't it? It'd be different if I had some help. I'd do the place myself, you know. So you're interested in Rory's grave, huh? Boy, what a funeral. Biggest one we ever had up here. Nobody comes here no more, though. Not even any of you reporters. Nobody's been here maybe uh, six, nine months, I bet. That's why I don't bother to keep his place special. Got so much to do, you know. What's this? You know, I seen that accident. That car was like one of those high hats you fold, and was it folded? Boy, was it ever folded. A fool kid. Uh, how long's this thing been here? That, oh, I get a letter, two bucks in it every month. The letter says, please tie the ribbon to a small bouquet for Rory Morgan. Who sent it? It ain't signed. Well, what's the postmark? I don't remember. Hey. Looks Chinese, don't it? You mind if I take this along? Sure, go ahead. I get one like it every month. Thanks. You got any connections? Could write something about how I need some extra help around here. I could make this place look real nice. Look who's sad and blue. Hi, Dad. Turn that thing down, will you? That was his first big record. I've been trying to get into the mood for our story. Very well, get in the mood. I hate rock and roll, and I hate rock and roll singers. So they give me the story to do. I really get some kind of a real angle on this thing. Well, how'd the grave look? Anything there? Pretty shabby. Gone and forgotten in a year. That's the way we do it in the jet age. Pretty fast and pretty lousy. Maybe that's your angle. Little lonely, gone a year, really lonely. That's cute. A little lonely. Now, what kind of a name is that? Rory Morgan is bad enough. If there is a different angle here, we'll find it. Start with this. I've got a whole gang of people lined up for you to see. Great. Uh, honey, look, uh, run this film over the lab right away, will you please? Sure. Uh, here, here. Uh, take this to a chop suey joint and you find out what it says. It says Banzai. I may never be back. Wish me luck. Tommy, hi. I know, don't worry, I won't forget. Uh, no, no, don't bother her. Uh, no, just, just tell your mother that I can't break away for a while, will you please? Tell her not to count on me for dinner, huh? Okay. No, 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 you tell her. You tell her. Just tell her I'll be late. Right. Yeah, I got her. It's a real good kiss. No, I won't forget. I promise. Night, son. You're too loud, little lonely. Still too loud. She's got your picture all over her room. Not only pictures of you and little lonely, but just you. Honest. How sweet. Thank you. Thank you very much. They love Please. her. You, they just love her. Yeah, they sure they do. Sure they do, Jane. Now, uh, let's get back to what you said before, Miss Coyne. Now, you said that uh, Rory was distant. Now, what do you mean, distant? Hard to reach, that's uh, all, Jane. Joe. She was going to say that anyway, right? Right. Uh, did you really like him, or uh, was it just for publicity? Gene, you can be honest now. The kid's dead almost a year now. Who cares, right? Oh. <laughs> I told you that this guy is a cynical basketball player, didn't I? Joe, I love you. Sure. Sure, at the start, it was, uh, it was an item in a column. But in the end, there they were. Head over heels. Believe me, head over heels. Well, there's Arthur. I'd like to see him. Oh, excuse me, will you? I'll, uh, I'll be right back. I thought he'd never leave. I was over at the cemetery the other day. It's sweet, isn't it? A little overgrown, but I loved your little bouquet. My what? The little bouquet with the Chinese writing on it. 
Well, uh, you did sign it, didn't you? Not me, pal. Not me. No kidding. Could have sworn that you were the one that was sending him flowers. I didn't send him flowers, honest. I mean, gee, how long do you send flowers? Well, I uh, have no idea, really. I guess it all depends on the kind of uh, romance you had, the uh, kind of feeling you had. Some romance. It was all over the papers every day. Oh, big deal. You sound bitter. The golden lover boy of song never kissed me once. Except for pictures. He must have been out of his mind. Thanks, you're cute. Some business, hmm? All publicity. Hi, sweetie. Uh, did you like him as a performer? Off the record? I won't quote you, I promise. Look, I owe a lot to Rory. He was great. Honest. Oh, he was all right. He had one thing missing. For me, you know. What was that? He wasn't a pro. You know what I mean? Well, not exactly. Uh, he went too far too fast. Look, if a guy pushes hard all the time and fast and doesn't take a breath to even look around, one day, karoom, goodbye, Charlie. Because real fast, it's too late. And you see, you can't quit. Can't quit, huh? You know, I still can't believe that you weren't the one sending the flowers. Me send flowers? Ha! Huh. Oh, I'd be the biggest phony I know if I did. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so, really. Look, I may be a little phony, sweetie, but I'm not the biggest. Look who's sad and blue. Oh, thanks. I'll just be a minute. No, I'll talk as long as you like. He can't see us. Can I have my office, please? Joe Kane, honey. Harriet? Well? The writing was Japanese. Hmm. Peace? That's all it says, peace? Beats me. Uh, look, uh, uh, honey, uh, would you uh, call my wife and tell her I won't be home for dinner? Uh, tell her to take her mother to a movie, uh, okay? And the same to you. Hey, he's not bad, but he's no Rory Morgan. Why not? Sounds exactly like him. Huh? But nobody buys carbon copies. You gotta have your own quality. You gotta have your own gimmick. Look at that kid. He has no idea the mic is off, but he's out there selling, just like Rory. That kid wants to be a big star, like Rory did. He can taste it, just like Rory. Then why did he want to quit? Quit? How could he quit? Where'd you hear that, quit? It was a big business. Big business can't quit. Well, he had a lot going for him, so why should he want to quit? Why, why? Why is a crooked letter? How do I know what he really wanted? Look, he had 40 people working for him in the city alone. And you asked me, did he want to quit? How could he? Uh, you were marvelous. It was swell. Thank you very much, and we'll call you. Did he ever talk to you about a friend of his in Japan? Someone who uh, might have sent him flowers? Japan? Who's to know in Japan? All right, so you heard he called Japan a few times. What does that mean? I call Hollywood. What does that mean? I called London twice last week. What is it? So, so what does that prove? I called Bell Harbor, Long Island, so? So why'd he call Japan? Say, look, pal, I, uh, I got, I got to hear four more kids tonight. Can I get with you some other time? Oh, I think I got what I need. Oh. Thanks for everything. Oh, it's my pleasure. Oh, by the way, uh, if you can give the memorial album a plug, you know, it could help us get it off the ground. I sure would hate to see the album die. Some epitaph, huh? A bunch of slowly warping records. But that's all that's left. Give us a plug, huh? I'll see. Hey, you got cool hands. Warm heart, huh? Oh, where you been? They've been yelling for you all day. They want to see pictures. I know what kind of an anger you've got. Let him wait. There's a real angle here somewhere, and you know how I know? Nobody's talking. 
Well, I've got reams of stuff for you from the Hollywood Bureau. Directors he worked with, actors. His dramatic coach is priceless. You gotta hear this. Priceless? Look at this. Real beat up grave, isn't it? <laughs> Westminster Abbey, it ain't. Well, it's a great picture, though. Too bad it's not in color. You know, I got some great stuff from the president of his fan club. Yeah. What time do the stores close, anyway? I gotta get my kid a birthday present. She told me who might have sent that small bouquet. Yeah, who? Miss Sarah Palmer, down at the old Trinity Hall. Oh, no, but I gotta get the telescope tonight. Joe, your kid's gonna have a lot more birthdays. How many more leads like this have you got left? The golden age of television will continue in a moment. Hi, I'm Rich Davis. I created this Casey Masterpiece barbecue sauce. <laughs> I even designed the label. Pretty simple. But fancy labels cost a lot of money, and I prefer to put the money in the bottle. For example, I don't add thickeners or sugar. I use rich, dark molasses instead. Hello, I'm Joe Kane. I, uh... Shh. Sit down, sit down. Look who's coming back to you. Did you ever hear that? Not that way. You didn't know he could sing like that, did you? No. It takes me back. Look who's it always takes me back. He was doing it just like that down in North Carolina when I went there to do a USO show at a camp there. When was this? 50, back in 50. I got him a few jobs when he came to town, never took a dime. <laughs> Nothing big, you know, but he was making coffee and cakes. Did uh, Rory have any friends in Japan? No. Why? <laughs> Just wondering, that's all. Would you have any idea who uh, might be sending this? Nobody I know. Nobody I know of. Uh -huh. uh, how long were you uh, Rory's agent? Until <sighs> a little after his big hit. The big agents bought him from me and I let him go. Because he had to get there fast. Too fast. I was going to bring him along slow. He had too much drive, I guess. I bet you could tell a lot of things about Rory that nobody else knows. <laughs> Millions of things. Like uh, who sent him flowers? They pushed him too much. He couldn't breathe. Little Lonely couldn't breathe. <laughs> you know I gave him that name, Little Lonely? He'd have been alive today if he had listened to me. Maybe he wouldn't have been as big, but he'd been alive. Why did he call Japan so much? Did he? Oh, sure he did. You know he did. One of the first publicity pictures he took. I bought that suit. Cost $60. <laughs> and you see this one? He was working at Kew Gardens in a club. He told me he was having a fight with the manager. Would I drop over after the second show? When I got there, it was a surprise party for me. Little Rory got up and sang, Happy Birthday. You know, that's a sad song. When he sang... I couldn't see because my eyes were like underwater. And he gave me flowers. Did you ever send him flowers? He was having trouble with his career, you know. You know what I mean. They make you into a chain store. They, they sell Rory Morgan this and Rory Morgan that. He didn't want to go into business. I was going to take him along slowly. But he couldn't wait. He had places he wanted to go. Like Japan? Little people like me, we can take a client just so far. Just so far. And you know what? It kills me. It just kills me. Well, this whole Rory Morgan thing is killing me. 
I want to get the right angle, but I haven't been able to find it. There's something missing. Look, Miss Ponmer, I'm not interested in writing a scandal magazine piece. I only want to know about a little bouquet from Japan. What is it and who sent it? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't understand it. The kid's dead now. Nothing can hurt him. I told you I'm not looking for dirt. I'm looking for something that I know is there. An angle that nobody's touched on. I'm looking for little truths about little lonely. You're little lonely. And you tell me that you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, thanks anyway, and goodbye, Miss Mayor. Goodbye. You want to know about the small bouquet? All right. You're right. Nobody can hurt my little lonely now. Tokyo. She gave you an address and just told you to go to Tokyo. Joe, if you go, you're just as sick as she sounds. Lay off, will you? How about this? Rory, Rory, quite contrary. What makes your Japanese garden grow? Lay off and get me the plane ticket. Your authorization's not through yet, Joe. Well, tell him I'm going anyway. Get it out of petty cash. Tell him if I don't authorize it, I'll hide it in my expense account and they'll never find it. Honey? Ah, hi, honey. Uh, now, look, I don't want you to get upset, but I'm going to have to take a little trip. Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, the one in Japan. I know it's his birthday, honey, and I'm going to make it up to him, honest. But I've got a real great lead on this story, and it, it could break the whole thing wide open. Now, try to understand, honey. I'll, I'll only be gone a couple of days, and I... Oh. Oh, you... Atta girl. Yeah. Joe, all you've got in Tokyo is an address. No name, no nothing. Just an address. You know, sometimes I get a funny feeling about you. I think you're beginning to lose your perspective over this kid. Oh, thank heavens you speak English. Yes, I do. Uh, my name's Joe Kane. I uh, represent a magazine in the States, and I thought you might be interested in some pictures that I took. Oh. Please come in. Fine pictures, but they are sad. Yes. Your place is just lovely. Thank you. They should not have told you about me. Well, they didn't tell me very much. They said that you might know something about this. I do. It seems neglected. Well, it's not exactly Westminster Abbey. I mean, it isn't very well kept. Uh, I think they're short-handed. Oh. Joseph. Thank you. Uh, where did you meet Rory? At a USO dance? He was singing at a friend's house when he just came back from fighting in Korea. He sang beautifully. Yeah. Uh, did you know him long? Did you know him well? Pretty well. And then one fine day, he went back to the States and you never saw him again, right? Right, that is true. One thing I can't work out in my mind is why you keep sending flowers. I cannot forget my Rory. Like he forgot you. He didn't forget. He called many times. He wrote often. He was going to come back. Sure, sure. Toki, this is Mr. Kane, a friend of your father's from America. How do you do? Do you know how to do this? I'm afraid I don't. That is too bad to be an American and not know how to do this. Toki, this is grown-up time. I am glad I met you. Will you come again? I'll sure try. Thank you. Did Rory know about the boy? Yes. 
And he sent money, more than enough. Yeah, good figures. Keep your mouth shut and we'll pay you off. Great. You do not understand. Oh, I understand, all right. It's just that I was getting a little soft in the head there for a minute. He called me the night he was killed. He knew then what he was seeking. It was here in his home. He was coming back. Sure, sure, they're always coming back. Look, my magazine is interested in your story told from your point of view. It could mean a lot of money for you and the child. God knows you deserve it. I see. I should not have spoken to you. I thought you knew about Rory and me. I know about him. Sure I know. It, it stinks. Rory Morgan was my husband. Your husband? You and Rory were married? He was coming back. He never had roots. This was going to be his first home. A man has to have a home. You were married. Please, Mr. Keene. I wish you would leave us alone. In peace. Peace. I hope that you will find whatever you are seeking. Pretty funny, ain't it? Big shot kid like that, singing those crazy songs, chasing girls, big shot kid racing along. No ties, no family, no nothing. Where do you think he'd get going so fast? Hey, mister, aren't you gonna take no more pictures? Mister, where are you going? Where am I going? I'm going home. I'm gonna buy me a telescope and I'm going home. <laughs>